Bugatti Type 55 Roadster 1932-35 Ettore Bugatti, born in Milan in 1881 to a family of distinguished artists and craftsmen, revolutionized the world of high-performance automobiles. He was among the first, in 1910, to recognize that performance could be improved by reducing weight instead of increasing engine size. A lightweight sports car provided better acceleration, road holding, and braking, as well as a welcome reduction in fuel consumption. Bugatti also approached the manufacture of automobiles with an artist's sensibility, each of his cars was designed and built with exceptional attention to detail. Predicated on these principles, Bugatti's Type 35 Grand Prix caused a sensation when it debuted at the Grand Prix of Lyon in 1924. Weighing only 1,500 pounds and powered by a magnificent overhead camshaft straight 8, the Bugatti's performance was astonishing. Over 2,000 race victories had been achieved by 1927. After studying Harry Miller's advanced racing cars, Ettore Bugatti developed the Type 51, a supercharged 2.3-liter Twin Cam Grand Prix that continued the company's success story well into the 1930s. During this period, Ettore Bugatti's son Jean, a talented designer and engineer in his own right, began to exert his influence. While his father was conservative, Jean Bugatti proposed many technical innovations, including the use of independent suspension. He was also a man with exquisite taste who was responsible for creating beautiful new designs. It was Jean who had the idea to create the Type 55 Super Sport a world-class sports car that would appeal to Bugatti's most demanding clients. This model was a spiritual successor to the Type 43 Grand Sport, which combined the mechanical underpinnings of the Type 35B with sporting coachwork, creating a Grand Prix car for the road. At its foundation, the Type 55 has the same chassis as the 16-cylinder Type 45 and Type 47 Grand Prix cars, also used in the 4.9-liter Type 54. This was mated to the Type 51's supercharged engine and the four-speed gearbox from the contemporary Type 49. Unveiled in Paris in October 1931, the Type 55 was an ultra-high-performance machine, with a top speed in excess of 110 miles per hour. In Bugatti tradition, the Type 55 was available to purchase as a chassis or it could be outfitted with one of three attractive factory bodies, a coupe, a cabriolet, and the Splendid Roadster, designed by Jean Bugatti. Since its introduction, the Type 55 Jean Bugatti Roadster has been coveted by enthusiasts the world over, and the model's elegance has been noted, with one knowledgeable Bugattist calling it a Type 51 Grand Prix wearing an evening gown. As documented by factory records, this Type 55, chassis 55213, was completed in April 1932. It was originally equipped with engine number 10 and fashioned with Jean Bugatti Roadster coachwork, making it the second example ever built and the first completed that year. On April 6, 1932, the factory invoiced 55,213 to Bucharest SA, the official Bugatti agent in Zurich. Though never officially imported into Switzerland, the Type 55 Roadster was issued a temporary registration in Basel and made its first public appearance at the Mil Miglia that started in Brescia, Italy, on April 9, 1932. Number 55213 is unique among Type 55s, as it is the only example to compete in the Mil Miglia, perhaps the most famous and romantic open road race. Wearing race number 102, the Type 55 was entrusted to Achille Varsi the legendary Bugatti factory driver, and co-driver Count Luigi Castelbrico, an established Voyager at Tracer. The other Bugatti factory entry was a Type 51 Grand Prix, driven by Carlo Casanaga and Archimede Rosa. For the Milmiglia, the Type 55 Roadster, finished in a red and black livery, was outfitted with road equipment, a leather hood strap, central driving light, and distinctive headlamp covers. The Bugatti was also fitted with special sport wings, which were lighter than the standard Jean Bugatti Roadster fenders. The Bugatti team did not find much luck in the 1932 race, despite a great record of success in the Italian event since 1927. After a close start, 
with Navalari's Alfa Romeo maintaining a small lead over Varsi, a rock punctured the Bugatti's fuel tank, and it could not be repaired. Following the Milmiglia, 55,213 was registered in Strasbourg, France, approximately 15 miles from the Bugatti factory in Molsheim. According to records sourced by Marc historian Pierre-Yves Lagier, the Type 55 was registered to Carlo Casaniga at the address of the Bugatti shop in Strasbourg. These facts suggest that 55,213 was kept in company ownership and retained for Jean Bugatti's personal use and he was pictured next to the car at Munza in September 1932. A photo taken at Molsheim in 1933 shows 55,213 equipped with standard roadster wings but still fitted with its unique central driving light and other distinguishing features. While it cannot be confirmed definitively, the first private owner of 55,213 may have been André de Rain, the famous French artist and noted Bugattist. M. Dirain, who, along with Henri Matisse, is credited with founding the Fauvism movement, owned at least 11 Bugattis during his life, the first a Type 35A and the last a Type 57S. It is likely that the Type 55 Roadster M. Dirain known was 55,213 or possibly 55,229, which was also in France during this period. Little is known of 55,213's whereabouts until 1946, when it was owned by Georges Metz, a Bugatti enthusiast whose family owned a candle factory outside Orleans, France. M. Metz and Jean Bugatti both attended college in Strasbourg, and they remained lifelong friends. He purchased many Bugattis secondhand and had a particular affinity for the sporting models, though the Type 55 was surely his most exciting car. In April 1950, M. Mitz advertised the Roadster for sale in Action Automobile at Touristique and then sold it to a garage in Paris, likely Hauswald in Levelos. 